Yes, my name is Bob, and I am a critic and writer here at Total Toy Recon. And today we decided that we're going to unbox something a little bit different. Now, we have several, probably hundreds actually, of Star Wars figures in packages. And we thought that it's time, since we're at home, let's open some of these up. Let's find out how good or bad they really are. Now, what you see in front of you is the... Beckett gang from Solo, A Star Wars Story. So this is Woody Harrelson as Beckett. This is Thaddy Newton as Val. And this is John Favreau, of all people, if you can believe it, as Rio Durant. Now, these three characters were all new and introduced in Solo, A Star Wars Stories, the young Han Solo movie, if you will. Um, we picked up all of these figures on discount. Now, stores like... Kohl's, um, TJ Maxx, Ross's, they were getting a lot of these figures at a major discount. So instead of paying the, let's say, $9.99 price tag of these figures at a Target or a Walmart, we were getting them for $3, $4. Five Below had several of these. You get them for $3.25. So a little bit on the old scale price of what a Kenner figure used to go for. But we decided that we weren't the biggest fans of the film, but here we have new Star Wars characters, figures that could populate our backgrounds, figures that could add to our world, figures that would be great for photography, different characters. And to tell you the truth, a fan of Woody Harrelson, fan of Thaddee Newton, and a fan of John Favreau, this is is the showrunner of The Mandalorian right here. This is the guy. This is actually, this was his second Star Wars character. His third character would be the voice of the heavy armored Mandalorian um, soldier that was in the, uh, I believe it was in the season finale, I think. Maybe it was a little bit sooner than that. I'm, I can't quite remember. I think it was actually before that. Um, so this was actually another character that he played. So his first character was on the Clone Wars. So John Favreau is one of those few actors that has actually been in a Star Wars movie, a Star Wars TV show, and a Star Wars cartoon. So we've, you know, that's the John Favreau ness of Rio Durant. So let's open these up. Um, we'll start with Beckett. This is our most obvious choice. Now, <clears throat> as I said, um, I got a lot of these figures at a discount price and a discount a discount retail store. But the other thing that should be brought up is this figure in the style that it is, it's, it's basic uh, points of articulation, though very highly detailed, is probably in the last of its line. Um, as in not this figure particularly, but this packaging, this style, um, the smaller points of articulation. Um, he's probably somewhere around like maybe 10 points, not very heavy. Um, we'll get into that when we open the figure. And why I bring that up is a figure such as the Vintage Collection figure is now um, Hasbro's uh, priority in this scale. So we do have the 6-inch figure. And Woody Harrelson, Beckett, does have a 6-inch figure. Actually, all of these figures from Solo have a 6-inch uh, version. Um, also very difficult to find and not showing up at the discount uh, stores like these guys did. Actually, a lot of the Solo products arrived at discount outlets at the end of the uh, fourth quarter of 2019. But this this figure itself, this packaging, this simplicity, this lower price point, this did not appear for the rise of Skywalker. It didn't even show up. There were no figures for the movie in this style. All the figures came in a vintage uh, collection, which meant a higher price point, a different package, more points of articulation, um, uh, not any here on the back because this figure is kind of like from the fall uh, of like 2019. Um, so it's a little bit out there. It wasn't going to reveal anybody yet. But we've had some of the like Zori Bliss. Uh, we've had a couple of the other figures from the vintage collection. And now the Mandalorian has Mandalorian and Cara Dune already in a vintage collection line. Plus the Stormtrooper. So you can get all of those in that style. So we've seen a turn for um, Hasbro and how they're going to be handling these figures from this point on. So here we have Beckett. Um, he's in the plastic coffin. Let's slide him out here. And then uh, here's a little uh, Force 2.0 link for Beckett. 
So this was – they had brought this back. We had talked about this on our basement blog where they had a, a reader that you could put the figure over it and then he would be able to talk. It would interact. There's like a little chip inside of him. Um, why they think this is popular for kids, that kids are going to like this, I do not know. Um, yes, I am wearing a Star Wars Band-Aid in case you're wondering. It says Resistance. So let's get him out here. So I like – Okay, so this does have a little bit more articulation than I thought. I thought maybe his knees would bend. They do not. However, his boots do move. They're on their own joint. That's nice. The hands move, which is nice, but he has no elbows. So Hasbro's willing to put the ability to turn a wrist right or left. We even have a trigger finger in each hand, but it's not willing to, uh, you know, he can sit in a ship. There's the, the chip for the, for the, uh, the Force Link 2.0. Which, by the way, if you're looking for those, get those at five below for five dollars. You get the the voice chip and you get a figure. It's Kylo Ren, but at least you get a figure with it. Um, yeah, don't over, don't overpay for those. They they resurfaced at the end of 2019 in a lot of retail stores. Um, great detail on the jacket, really nice. It's a it's a fairly decent for this scale and this price point uh, likeness of Woody Harrelson, the man who would be Carnage. So nice. So let's uh, get out the guns here. Tape is fairly strong. I don't want to break it just trying to get the tape off of it, which I have done. You think they wouldn't make the tape as strong as they do? But they do. Okay, so I don't even there it goes. Now, I have to admit, um, all Star Wars guns are based on real guns. I mean, they're constructed from them. That's the basis of the gun. Wasn't a big fan of Beckett's guns because they're basically like 357 Magnums with scopes. So I'm not a big fan of these guns. It it reminded me too much of the real world where this gun here is based on uh, an old machine gun, um, you know, World War II kind of rifle. Y to me, I, I know this gun more as a Star Wars blaster now than the actual real gun that it's based on, where, however, these are the standard, like, almost heavy-duty police officer revolvers from, like, the 70s and 80s. So maybe that's just me. Maybe that's what I identify it with. But it takes me out of the world a little bit. I would have liked to have seen some sort of different weapon for Beckett. Now, we have holsters, which is very nice. And I always appreciate when um, toy makers will put holsters on guns. The only problem is you really do have to kind of scope them in backwards because uh, scope it in and the guns are backwards with this kind of look. So he's a, he's a crisscross kind of guy. And if you have a big scope like that, you're definitely going to have to tuck the gun back, which is a nice look, by the way. So remember, if you've crisscrossed it, you've got to put this gun in this hand. So it's interesting that they gave him the trigger finger, yet there's no trigger guard. Kind of interesting. Which also makes it just a tad harder to hold. So, has a little bit of Star Wars right there. I like that a lot. Basically, he's got a very shady kind of Doc Holliday Western kind of look, which is nice. Very nice figure. So let's let's move on. We'll put him to the back here, and let's do um, let's do Thaddy Newton's Val. Now this is a, this is a character I kind of wish we would have gotten a little bit more of, a little bit more screen time with. Um, you know, this is her Mibba Band look, um, and I'm I'm not surprised, but I am surprised that Hasbro did not release a special box set of all of them dressed as Imperials. I think that would have gone over really, really well because the world building of having more Imperial troopers, um, even though they were rebels or they're, well, let's say they were smugglers, even though they were smugglers and pirates, I think would have gone over just as well as getting these figures. But I think a lot of things with Solo, I know that it has like a cult following of Star Wars now within the cult following of Star Wars was that um, I don't think we're ever going to see any more toys from these lines again. I mean, it'll take a fan favorite 
um, movement to really get figures from Solo made again. So this is nice. We have a nice little wire here attached to her arm. Great ropes. Lots of things that dangle. No holster, though. Really would have liked to have a holster right here. I don't know if she had one in the film, but nice. And again, for this scale and this price point, 375 likeness of Thaddy Newton is awesome. So the Vip, the Mimiban Val look is really, really cool. And again, what I like about this figure is, for me as a collector, it's officially Star Wars. I could add this to uh, like a smuggler's like planet, uh, you know, have an extra story, add this extra element of Star Wars characters to that. Like if we do have, uh, you know, if we have all these different Jedis, why not have all these other smugglers and pirates? Um, now, big difference here between him and and Val is Val's boots do not move new to her ankles. Now her hands move, so we do have some extra joints here. But again, she is a very is this middle. Her middle does not move either. Like you can move her legs, she can sit. But as far as points of articulation goes, she has two less than uh, Woody Harrelson's uh, Beckett. That's kind of disappointing. So you think they would have given her the ability to move her boots? So. Smaller figure, a little bit different, um, not as as intense as I thought it would be, um, or the same as I thought it would be. So here's our final figure for today. Um, this is Rio Durant. Um, interesting character, great Black Series figure. Um, I wish I would have gotten it. Um, actually, the only uh, solo characters I have in the Black Series are I have uh, the Range Trooper, and then I actually have... Um, the bad guy that Paul Bentley played. So I actually have him. Um, very, very cool. Um, this is being recorded on Facebook Live, and I'd like to give a shout out to Matt Booker, who's part of Fanta Tracks, who's watching. He said, Details, someone somewhere is getting a gang together to overthrow you. <laughs> so here we got Rio Durant. Another little plastic coffin here. And the nice thing about Rio Duran is we've you've got to have points of articulation with this guy because he has got extra arms. So he has it's kind of like a spider monkey, literally. He's got great feet. Check out these feet. They do not move, but he does have leg joints that move. Lots of great detail here, especially the bandolier that goes in. Got a headset here that you can move it. You can't really uh, move it up and down, but you can definitely bend it in a different direction. And then he does have, like what I always say, I love having a holster. So we get the holster look. More of a Star Wars-y gun than most. So he's got a holster here. Um, would have liked to have a gun for each hand. I didn't think that Hasbro would supply us with all these guns. But this is, this is an interesting thing you bring up because the price point here is the same as this figure. Yet this figure has more points of articulation. Now it's a smaller figure, but the points of articulation maybe balance out the size. But then when you get into the, the bigger figures, at, like for Marvel's characters, the Marvel Legends, you'll have some figures that have no accessories. And then you'll have other figures that come with like 25. They're all the same price. So I think that in some ways you pay for the name uh, and you also pay uh, because they think you're going to get everybody in the line and, and it balances out. And I don't think that's fair of Hasbro anymore to do. Not in the climate that we're in, not with what they're charging for toys, and then how certain figures have things, other figures don't. Uh, the weight of a figure, like this guy isn't nearly, this guy was, let's say he was twelve ninety nine. you know, like this guy's a little bit different. They've got almost the same points of articulation here. Um, why does this guy cost more? So it's all these little weird things. Now, does each of the hands move? Yep. So here we have even more points of articulation. Feet don't move. Legs don't slide like this way but they do go up and down. But yet, you can have this guy fly a ship, shoot four guns, but she does not have as many points of articulation. So there's a weird, interesting balancing act that I think Hasbro really has to start following through on, on the price of figures. And, you know, if this guy's got, if this guy's got more points of articulation, should this guy come with more weapons? Should this guy have a bigger cape? You know, um, those are th factors that I really think that toy collectors are starting to look at now and they're starting to realize like, well, why is this cost the same amount as this? And they're in no way equal, yet they're part of the same line. Um, so that's one of our elements. So we're going to do a quick rundown here. I would say that uh, the disappointment in the three, um, I like the way Thaddy Newton looks, but her points of articulation do not match that of the human character 
uh, Beckett. Awesome belt details, legs move, great for posing. I mean, if you're going to you know play with this guy, you're going to have some certain you know limitations because you're not going to be able to pose him as nice nicely as you would like to do. However, uh, I think the real gem here is Rio Durant. He really has some great little accessories. You can move him around. You can do all kinds of cool things with him. I think it's a really fun figure. Um, more guns would obviously be the uh, the key, so you're going to have to cannibalize a few blasters here and there to really make up the difference. But I think this is a really cool figure, um, so I like this one. This this would be my my favorite of the three, and so far probably my favorite of the solo line. Um, I really like that. I do have a few others, but I just wanted to do the Beckett gang today. So this is Bob from Total Toy Recon. Thank you for tuning in.